my baby dolls we are finally here with another video i feel like <laughs> it's been a couple days since i gave y'all something new for this month today is already april 11th so whew, the time is going the days are flying happy month of april hope you guys month is has been going well so here we are with another video i did promise you guys that i'm going to be doing more sit down videos sharing new makeup and just getting back into the makeup tutorials how i used to i know i've been doing a lot of vlogs which you guys love but you guys have been asking for more makeup tutorials more hair and that's exactly what i'm going to give to you guys i also have some affordable hair coming up soon some synthetic hair i know you guys miss the synthetic wigs so i'm just happy to be back and talking to you guys i did take like a mental break which we all need i feel like i've taken a week a week break just off camera um i have been vlogging in between days though so you guys will be getting a vlog this week but i just had to take time for myself to myself because it's just very very important your mental is very important so that's what i've been doing um like i said i have been shooting content throughout the day so you guys will be getting a vlog this week let's get started i got some new stuff and i'm so excited to show y'all um which is this is something new but this has nothing to do with makeup um i just bought this at ross today i had some errands to run today i end up shipping out some wigs um some of you guys have been purchasing wigs for me off my site so if you guys are interested in purchasing some units i do have some wigs on my site that i am selling so i'll have my link down below of my website you guys can purchase some hair and if you have any special requires on any type of particular hair you're looking for or a particular hair you want then dm me if if you don't see it on my site and then i went to Alta beauty and i picked up some stuff then i went to ross and i picked up this candle so yeah y'all know i love me some candles so we're gonna light this one up it smells so good this is sage leaf in a eucalyptus um so yeah so now we got our candle going. This is a heavy ass candle. Do y'all throw away y'all candles after it's done? I kind of like keep all my jars. I don't know why I'm collecting them. But I feel like like this is a really pretty candle. If I was to take the label off and use it for like um, my makeup brushes. You know what I'm saying? Like they're useful. Recycle them. Use them for something. And I feel like I've been saving all of my candles. <laughs> some of them come in really cute jars and I don't want to throw them away. I'll find out what I, I'll find out some other ways I can use them. Let's I, I feel like I've been talking, talking, talking. Let's get into the video. I'm gonna fix me some wine. Y'all remember this? Yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> so yesterday, um, I was relaxing yesterday and this wine put me to sleep so hopefully i don't get real lazy during <laughs> this video um i already feel kind of sleepy right now but i'm like no lyric you gotta get up you gotta get some content done push through okay I, lately i've been listening to my body though when i'm when i want to go to sleep i go to sleep no matter what time it is during the day but today i'm like no i need to get up get my ass up and get to it okay we got some red wine going, 19 Crimes. This is Snoop Dogg wine. Um, if y'all tried it, let me know if you like it or not. It's pretty good. It's definitely, it definitely hits for show. It definitely hits right away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it gets the job done. It has like a very dry, it's, it's definitely dry. But I also have a little bit of sweetness to it. I normally don't like dry wine, but his is really good. I didn't pick up anything new for my brows. I've used have used this before, but if you don't know about the Revolution Precise Brow Pencil, then I'm gonna put you on today. You know, if this is not new to me, but it may be new for you. This is the brow pencil by uh, Revolution Makeup Revolution. I believe this ran for about seven to eight dollars, which is definitely affordable. And I never do my brows off camera. I feel like that's the best part like my brows i don't know i love i love doing my brows on camera so and i'm using dark brown this is a really great precise brow pencil okay it gets in the areas that you need it to be i'll be using my elf hydrating camo concealer and i'm using the shade tan sand so let's get to it so i can show y'all the rest of this makeup i'm so excited and I hope you guys like it. So first, before I even start on my brows, I'm going to use 
my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer and I'm going to use the e.l.f. Holy Hydration. This has been really, really good. I've used this first. I've used this first and then I'm going to go in with the Grip Primer. I've been using this every time I do my makeup. I do not go without it. Whew. Why, why, why? I'm filming. Why you I'm, fil I'm filming, bitch. What do you want? You were going right now? Yes. Catch the camera saying that shit. Okay, I'm catching it. Oh, your outfit matched my nails, bitch, and your hair, bitch. Go ahead. So tell the camera. Tell them what you want to say. With them damn Balenciagas. Balenciaga is canceled. Bitch. What's up, bitch? Baby doll, let me tell y'all how to say <laughs> this is Ken, y'all, by the way. I'm full of my shit. Tell them how I'm full of my shit, dear bitch. First off, first off, I was busy today. I had a lot to do. Right, and one of the things to do was to be here with me. He wanted me to come to the studio, y'all, with him. And I couldn't. I couldn't make it. I had things to do. Thank you. Thank you, baby. You look good too. Thank See, you. I complimented him as soon as I answered the phone, and look how he doing me. I complimented her too, though. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. What's the vibes? I don't have no vibes. Who that was you at the studio? It's me. You got your vibe, your little zip bro, mm -hmm. the camera, the lights on. Mm-hmm. I love your body as well. You just sit up here. You said who there? All right, bitch. Video. Talk to baby dolls. Love you, baby dolls. <laughs> they love you too. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I'm not with nobody. Cause I don't wanna hurt nobody. Did it over text, didn't call me. Still got love for your mommy. Oh, you wanna be somebody, even if you gotta... oh, um, on top of my brows, I'm going to use Fawn by LA Pro. Um, just on top because as you guys can see, this concealer is very much lighter. Um, and I don't want that halo effect when it's time for me to um, blend it out. It's, gonna, it's just going to blend in my skin, you know? It's just going to blend and not look like it's sitting on top of my skin. So if you guys don't know about this, um, this, oh shit, y'all, my little setup is so good out right now, I'm so sorry. If y'all hear shit fall, I'm just doing what I can, while I can. As far as the brows, um, what I was trying to say was, if you guys are not familiar with this brow pencil, it's a really great brow pencil. It kind of reminds me of the NYX micro brow pencil, but honestly, this one, the Revolution, is, is kind of different in, in a little, in, in a little way. Um, the way it applies, the Revolution one is very much smoother. Like, it's, it gives more of a smooth application. I don't know. I, I'm starting to think I might like this one better than, 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 a, than, than the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And if you know how much I love the NYX Brow Pencil, then you know. You know how much I love that pencil. Like, I really, really, really do. I like both of them. I'm not going to lie. So, that's how the brows look. I'm glad I picked this brow pencil up. It definitely gives me what it needs to give. I haven't had this brow pencil in a while. I haven't used this brow pencil in a while and I forgot all about it. But it looks so good. And I'm going to do the other brow off camera. Okay. We're going to get into the eyeshadow, y'all. I bought this new shadow eyeshadow palette. And I don't know. Like, I've been doing stuff that puts me back. It's the old times, what I used to do, and I like really like it. I got this eyeshadow palette by Juvia Place, and we kind of only do y'all see the eyebrows? The eyebrows is sitting, the eyebrows is laid. But let's get into this eyeshadow palette by Juvia Place. Y'all, I have not picked up a product from Juvia Place in so freaking long, and when I saw this palette, I said, Oh, she's coming home with me today. So, do you see this palette, y'all? Just look at this. So freaking gorgeous, y'all. This is a nice freaking palette. It's so pretty. 
their palettes is always giving Nubian Queen vibes, okay? But these are the shades, and oh my god, do y'all see these shades? So you have some shimmer, some glitter, and some mattes in here, and they're all neutral colors. I don't even think that the camera is doing it any justice, but baby, it's giving, okay? If there's anything else that you guys want me to try by Juvia Place, please let me know down below. Because I saw some things, some new stuff that they have. Um, but if you guys are interested, I'll definitely pick it up so I can review it for you guys. So you guys can see. Um, it was something that I did see. Usually, I, usually when I want to pick up their like concealers or the foundations or tints, like for some reason, their brand when it comes down to my shade always look red. It always gives like a very like red undertone and that's the reason why I like never 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 pick up any foundation by Juvia Place it just doesn't give and I just already know like one thing I do know I know how to search for some good foundation and I know how to search for my right shade I always always get my shade right so that's one thing I would say and Julia Place just Julia Place just doesn't give for me when it comes down to the foundation. Maybe it's just me, but let me know how y'all feel about the foundations, or if you have um, something that you really really like by them. Let me know, cause I I don't I don't I don't mind trying it, but I just know once I get home and I put it on, it's gonna it's just gonna give me that red um, undertone, and I'm not that. Okay, so for my transition shade, I'm going to take this brown right here. I'm already knowing what I want to take. I'm going to take that shade right there for my transition, okay? So now the next brown shade I'm going to take is this one down here. I love this palette because it got so many different neutrals and different browns. I just love browns. And um, I'm taking this shade right here. We took this one. I'm taking this one now. I'm going on top of the transition and we're going to dive into the crease. Okay. So we're still making that transition shade still visible. But we're just deepen deepening the tones. Damn, can I talk? Is it the wine? <laughs> We're deepening the tones. So now I'm going to go in with, it's like I'm going to go in with this one here. So we went in with this, we went in with that one, and now we're going in with this one. And we're going on top of that crease and we're just really building you guys with the shades. And I will say every time I use Juvia Place shadows. I never really have a bad moment with Juvia Place shadows. They, I will say one thing about Juvia Place that it works for black skin. Okay, it's black skin approved because I wouldn't say I struggle with eyeshadows with finding eyeshadows, but when I go to Sephora, I'm just gonna be real. I'm gonna be honest. A lot of the Sephora brands, well, not Sephora brands, but like the high end products, like. Um, what is a product everyone loves right now? I cannot think of this name, but my mom actually bought an eyeshadow palette from them and it was trash. Like when I say it was trash, like the quality of the eyeshadow palette did not give pigmentation. It didn't give anything. Like it looks very beautiful in the pan. Like and you, and I'm spending $50, $60, $70 on an eyeshadow palette. And it never, and it, and it doesn't give. Like, you know, like, I'm spending, if I'm going to spend that much on an eyeshadow palette, that motherfucker better be so pigmented in one swipe 
I better see the pigmentation on that hoe. And it did not give. One of the eyeshadow palettes I really love that's a high brand is by Urban Decay. Urban Decay have really good eyeshadow palettes. Really good. Like the pigmentation on their palettes are amazing. 10 out of 10. Okay. So, yeah. It's not, it's not always easy finding eyeshadow palettes at Sephora that's going to give you what it needs to give. Now I'm going to take my e.l.f. concealer and we're going to cut this into like a cut crease a little bit. As you guys can see, I'm only taking it literally where my crease is on my eye. That's literally where I'm stopping. I'm not going no further than where my crease is on my eye. I know a little bit a lot of cut creases a lot a lot of the times. A lot of people go over their actual crease, their real crease. I'm not doing that. I'm kind of just staying it where my actual crease is and I'm not dragging it out either. I'm going to go in with this shade in the front corner and then this shade towards the end because they're both neutrals but of course one is lighter than the other. That looks so good. Like, you see how pigment that is? That's what I'm talking about. Like, if you're gonna come through, come through. That's what I'm talking about, uh, Juvia Place. One thing about it, they don't play no games when it comes down to the eyeshadow. If I don't buy nothing else from this brand, believe I'm gonna buy a shadow pal eyeshadow palette from them. Okay, and now I'm gonna take this shade here towards the end of our eye. And then we're gonna go in with that last shade we took. You guys, it kind of blend that in because you guys kind of see it towards the end. We're just gonna take that on the end right here and kind of just going this way with it. Just making sure everything kind of just blends through. Really. Okay. See that? Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah, I love that for me. Now it's time for the eyeliner. I'm using my Mega Liner by Wet n Wild, which is really some good liner. I will never get up off this liner. I don't care what nobody say. It's extra black, like a jet black finish, and like a matte finish too. It stays on all day. Baby, don't sleep on it. And I'm doing a thin wing so that I don't disturb the eye look because we don't want to ruin that, you know? Sometimes when you do a thick wing and you did and you did a whole eye look, it can disturb the whole look of what you created. Like it can just ruin it, you know? So you don't want to ruin what you just did. And I'm going to clean this up with some um, concealer. I always show you guys this part. It's easy to do. Take that concealer on the end and you just use your brush. And you got to just clean up what you did, okay? See that? Sharp, clean. No worries. 
all done. I'm going to do this eye off camera, but y'all see how nice and dark that liner is and it dries matte. Okay, so now it is time for what I've been wanting to show y'all. <laughs> um, I did my lashes. My lashes are on. Now we are going into the NYX Bear With Me Blur. When I went into Ulta and I saw this, I said I gotta get it because y'all know I've tried... I've been trying the tinted foundations to, and y'all know how I feel about the elf version and I love it. So this is basically, okay yes, a blurring tint foundation, that's what there is called. Um, I have mine in warm caramel. <laughs> when I had, I saw my shade, I'm like, oh my god, this is the last one. This is, it's meant to be. And y'all, this was the last one too. And this was the last one too, the eyeshadow palette. I said, this is my special day. It's, I'm, it was meant for me to pick up all of these things. So, the last one of this one, uh, the last shade, and so many shades were gone. I'm like, these must be good. So, it looks full coverage. I'm not going to lie. Like, So, I'm going to use my beauty blender. Something told me to get a brush for this. I don't know why, but it's all right. I poured me up a little bit more wine. Oh, okay. So, let's see. So you can squeeze it out like like this. This looks full coverage and it looks thick. It says um, it was medium coverage, but it looks full coverage. So let's see y'all. And hopefully I got my right shade. I'm going to zoom y'all in a little closer. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Right off top, it does give like a undertone, undertone like it has an SPF in it. And I don't like SPF in, in my foundations sometimes, depending on the brand. Because it can give a, a cask look. This looks like it has a cask. So, right off back, it looks like it has a little like ghost ghost undertone hopefully I'm making sense and this is a small little tube so I'm guessing you don't supposed to use that much or you don't like you're supposed to give off a skin finish I'm guessing you don't need as much product so I'm not going to use too much but as y'all can see it it, it I could have got a I could have gotten a deeper tone if I would have known this but the one that was next to it was way too dark and this is my honest review I bought it so I'm giving y'all my honest review and I don't like how it's making my skin look it's making me look ghosty do I, do I even have to do I even say anything <laughs> off rip not a fan of it um, I am a fan of the quality the texture I like the texture. The texture gives off a, um, a velvet finish. I don't mess around with NYX foundations. I do have the NYX Bear With Me Concealer. A lot of people love, love this concealer. A lot of people rave about this concealer. Um, so I am going to use it since we are using the NYX Tinted uh, Foundation. I normally don't use this on my channel at all because I don't use it at all really. But since the sake of the video, I have used it before as you guys can see. But for the sake of the video, I will use it for this video. And I'm going to use Toffee by LA Pro Conceal. I'm going to use this just to give me, like, it don't look bad. It don't look bad. But I can tell if I take some pictures, I may look casky. I like my foundation to be a little darker than me. So when I do my powder and concealer, everything kind of just comes together. So I'm going to use the LA Pro Concealer in the shade Toffee. I usually will use Fawn. But since my foundation is a little light, we're going to tone this down a little bit. I'll make this come together. Toffee is a little darker. Just a little bit. Just a tad bit. Fawn and Toffee is very close in shade. And we're going to just blend it Okay, 
Okay, y'all. So, now I'm going to use the NYX. I normally don't use this. Um, I do have some bronzer that I've been wanting to try. So, that's probably going to help this come together. Um, I'm using the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. This one has serum in them. Let me know if this all of them have serum in it. Because this one says serum. So, let me know if all of them have serum in it. I'm not sure about that. And this is in a shade, what shade is this? Sand, okay? Okay, this is looking very close to the concealer I just applied, which was the LA Pro Conceal. The e.l.f., like I said, guys, just the e.l.f under the eyes just wear bright it is so crazy I know I said this before in my other video but it's like how it's so crazy how the trends now is like having a brighter under eye and I always was that girl that talk about having a bright under eye like you guys were like you're using like three five four concealers <laughs> being dramatic but I only use two or three concealers sometimes I use a, sh a shade that's close to my complexion, then I use a shade that is two times lighter just un for under my eye to have that bright under eye look. And a lot of you guys, of course, loved it. And it's just crazy how, like, you know, just how that's just such a trend right now to have a bright under eye. You know, like, I always did that. So it's nothing new for me because I never stopped ever. So, just like that. Mm. The NYX Tinted Foundation is kind of coming together. Kind of coming together. I'm not going to give up on it too soon, y'all. But, I don't, like to, I don't like my undertone to look, like, ghosty, you know? Now, it's, it's time to bronze the skin and contour. So, I'm using the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. Um, I have this in... This is the one I have right here. Um, they do have a lot of different shades. That's why I love about e.l.f. Because they just come through. Okay, you guys know that I've tried the um, Putty Blush. Love that. Thought I wasn't going to like it because it's a cream. But I actually loved it. This is what it looks like. And I also bought the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer Brush. So I bought a new one. Um, I have bought this before several times, and it's really a good brush, so I definitely recommend using it, okay? So this is the putty primer, so it looks like, okay, I think I got, got a good shade, that's what it looks like, and this is, and this is the brush, okay, let's get into it. I like it this brush because it's nice and small. It's not too big. It can get in the areas just like I need it to. And it has a nice curve and it's super soft. A nice edge to it. Okay, y'all, let's see. Let's see what it's giving. And I have not set under my eye yet. So if it look crazy, then that's why. Okay, I think this is the perfect shade. Mm, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm gonna use powder for my nose. And now I'm going to set with my Maybelline setting um, powder in the shade 25. Set under my eye, the concealer. Down the bridge of my nose, even though I haven't done the contour yet on my nose. And forehead. A little bit on the chin. 
look crazy right now, but we're going to get it together. So next, I got this NYX right here. It looks very lighter. The shade looks lighter on camera. Um, this is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Mattifying Powder. I got this to set the remaining of my face, like, um, underneath my contour and things like that. Just around my face, okay? And I have this in the shade Mocha. And this was the last one, so I'm like, this must be some good shit too, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, yeah, we're going to set the remaining of our face with this. And right here, you guys, I was just blending out the powder that um, I used to set my concealer. So, you guys, that's what you guys see me doing here. It's just setting the powder. And you guys are going to see me using the NYX in a moment. Just give me a second. I was kind of like all over the place. <laughs> so, to set the putty contour, I know I look a little ashy right now. I look a little discombobulated. But give me a second. Um, so, I need to bring some color into this face. I'm going to go back in with the eyeshadow palette real quick and put some color underneath my eyelid. I'm just using the brown underneath. Sometimes with makeup, you have to really trust the process. So now, something else I bought. <laughs> I bought the NYX uh, Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. This is not anything new from um, from NYX, but it's new to me. I'm going to set the Putty Primer Cream Bronzer with this. Um, I never not set my cream contour, cream bronzer. I never leave it by itself. It looks a little weird. So we're going to set it with some powder. And this is what it looks like, you guys. So get a variety and... I don't know which one I want to use, to be honest with you guys. Hopefully this is a good palette. Hopefully it's a good palette. It's either this one or this one. Either one. So we're going to see. I would like to use this by itself on its own too without um, using it with the cream bronzer without setting it. I feel like I can get a better feel for it but I am going to use it for my nose for to contour my nose so I feel like I can definitely see what it's giving. I think I like bronzer better than actual contour palettes and I've talked about this so many times before so now I'm going to chisel this out because it looks a little weird down here so I'm using this NYX can't stop won't stop which I was just telling you guys about in the shade mocha and I'm just going to use my actual beauty blender and I'm going to take it like this do like that. Okay. Let's see what it's giving. This look a little orange. So I'm just going to blend that out. Blend it, blend it, blend it, blend, blend, blend. Something else new that I have is this Makeup Revolution Blush Burst Palette. Now, I definitely think I'm going to love this palette. It's so gorgeous, so pretty. Like, really, really pretty. Like, so cute. Like, so cute and girly. Okay. I feel like I need to do my lips because they maybe that's what it is. I look a little weird. So I don't know which shade I want to take, but I know one thing this shade right here is gorgeous. I feel like I want to do that or this one. Either this one or this one is what I want to take. These are all really pretty, so I'm going to take this one. 
so like a deep plum type of blush i love using this type of blush on like a darker skin tone be very pretty gorgeous gorgeous this blends in so good i knew i was gonna like this palette pretty pretty like see when i start liking blush i gotta make sure i'm not putting on too much because I, I can keep going and forget what I, how much i'm using and i like to take my blush up a little bit so if i'm overdoing it i'm sorry but that's some really pretty blush this gives off orange so i don't know how i feel about this one maybe i got the wrong shade but then again it's kind of blend, kind of blended in, so I don't want to. Mm, mm, kind of, it kind of blended in, kind of did it. It, it, probably, it, it kind of did what it needed to do. Um, I'm gonna do my mascara real quick. I thought I bought some NYX lip liner, and I guess I didn't. So I'm going to use what I usually use. Um, I had saw that my NYX lip liner that I love so much was back in stock and they had so many left if I thought I picked it up I picked some up already I could have sworn I did maybe I just can't find it but um since I can't find it I'm just going to use my wet and wild palette as y'all can see damn I, I I didn't hit the pan I've been using this as a lip liner and it's been like my favorite so yeah as you guys can see I hit the pan I only been using this shade out of this palette for lip liner this is the eyeshadow palette by wet and wild called color icon and this one is in go comodo go comodo and i've just been using the brown and it's like the perfect brown like perfect brown This blush, I cannot get over this blush, y'all. Do y'all see how pretty that blush is? It's so freaking pretty. I bought something new for my lips. This is the Nil the NYX. This is Milky Gloss. This is something new from NYX. Um, and it's in the shade Milk and Honey. So this is it right here. But before I use this, I am going to use another nyx lip tea i'm going to use nyx lip teas i don't even think they have these no more in the store um it's called cheek appeal i haven't been seeing them maybe they discontinued this but i still have mines and i still use it to this day it's in cheek appeal it's a lip lacquer so it's very very intense don't need too much i'm going to use this here which i just bought today it's supposed to have and supposed to make your lips super glossy Ooh. glossy as hell a nice gloss after all this look has definitely came together i was kind of scared at first i'm like what is this giving yeah she give it so i'll leave everything down below let me know what you baby dolls think about this entire look everything was fun and let me know what you guys will want to see next and yeah let me know y'all thoughts on the whole entire look everything came together as always i actually like the finished product because at first i was a little scared but we made it through um so yeah let me know what you guys would like for me to review and use next on the next makeup tutorial um again a vlog will be coming up soon i love you baby dolls so 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 much Oh, yeah, I need to close my balcony. I hear too much stuff outside. Oh, and don't forget to like this video. Like this video and comment if you don't normally comment. I would love to see you comment this time. 
and like this video and share the video and if you redo this look tag me in it i love to see it i love you baby dolls so very much and i'll see you all in my next videos